In February 2019, the workshop between two cultures about Arabic maqam tonality in contemporary composition was held in Cairo, Egypt. The workshop was arranged by composer Nahla Matar from Egypt and Sona Kolster from Denmark and supported by the Danish Egyptian Dialogue Institute. Four young talented composers, as well as the two arrangers of the workshop, composed each a piece for a wood and piano trio. Tried and performed by the famous Autar Quartet, one of the Cairo's leading ensembles. My name is Nana Matar, uh, uh, I'm a composer and I work in Hewan University. Uh, it has been really challenging for me to implement some of uh, Maqam tonality. Um, and I be, usually I find some polyphonic uh, solutions for that, but I really use also triad harmony. I'm not afraid that I use uh, the Sika within the triad harmony at all. I, I want really through this workshop <coughs> to know how we can control temper, especially we are using fixed instruments and dynamic instruments. And it, it's really the role of, of the musicians how to fit that because we, we have this harmonic series. So the myth that we cannot uh, use triadic harmony or using this kind of um, uh, piece uh, mixed together, I think maybe we are going to really to make another myth through this workshop. I know. My name is Suma Kosta. I'm from Denmark and uh, I am a composer like all of us. <laughs> my, my travel into the Macabre have been a really long, uh, twisted road. Started out like uh, 20 years ago or something like this in Greece when I heard some of the older Greece, the Greek music. I got a, a teacher in Buzuki in, in Greece that began. This was the first time I heard the word Macabre. For me, the Macabres have a very special expression. For instance, like the Makam Saba, which is really one of my favorite ones. I remember first time I heard it, my head was just like, I was like, wow, can something sound like this so sad and so demonic, twisted like this? I was really good in, in my ears, you know. Makam is the complex and unique system of classical tonality in the Arabic world, in where the Western classical tradition have two scales, major and minor, there is uncountable Makams. The challenge is to mix the melodic maqamet with harmonic and polyphonic western techniques, a delicate task because of the different tonality with the use of microtones, and that was one of the main focuses of the workshop. And then you are you are moving all you have this just feeling with the just skills from from F, and then you go to A. You are establishing the A as the base, and then you are having this. I think it's called the Saba Zam Zam, where, where you have Zam -zam, the, yeah. the low. Uh, I feel the low it's like, like a stretching. You're starting on the on the third. You, you okay. have this this uh, this main main uh, low line, and and uh, and if you are changing the base to that note, so this will be the, the, the bass note, that you, then you actually have the jeans for... for uh, oh, the so you, you, you related the, the Maqam Saba in, uh, in the, the, the third, uh, the, the Maqam Hijaz on its third. Exactly. Uh, so you got uh, this, how it is happening. Uh, we we're, were very courageous, courageous to do this. Uh, the, first, the first, I don't know, I didn't know how to use chords for example. No, no, no. And it was, I was panicking, like I have to use chords, yeah, I yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. so I, I, mean, I don't know how you, like, how did you get this idea to, like how did you harmonically knew that you were doing the right thing? Like, In the western kind of, you're saying like, but if you're saying, for instance, in, in hijaz, then you say,
challenging for me to choose a maqam or I was not choosing, I was just like, I, I play on the Qanun, so I was playing it on the Qanun. And I tried to, and maqam is Rahat al which is Suzanne, but on a different, uh, it starts on. Uh, different tonic. Uh, yes. Different tonic, yes. yes. But, but can you play the maqam for us? I'm just want to ask something. Is it a tahwila inside because we can play against that? Yes, yes, but this is maqam rahat al arwah because it's. Because if we say maqam rahat al arwah, we need to end back at the C chord. Because I believe this is a tahwila. It is one of those maqam that has a taba or three notes that determine that. And then it moves to the Hijaz, where there is not sadness, but drama. Really a lot of drama. And then after that, it everything rises up in a way that you never see. With the, with the, with the Jawbat or al Jawbat or the higher register. Because this, this Sinus or Enos and Zam does really things that, you know, unpredictable uh, with this kind of colors.
workshop found place in the Danish ambassador's residency and ended up in a public concert in an Arabic music institute affiliated with the Cairo Opera House, one of the most legendary places in Arabic music history. It was here the great conference of 1932 found place, where musicologists, composers and musicians from the whole Arabic and European world met to find a common language, share ideas and establish the modern Arabic music. Of course, uh, the workshop was uh, very useful and it was uh, uh, it, it helped me a lot to understand how to work with different genres like modern composers and uh, to choose uh, different like new ways of composing and it showed me the difference between each and every uh, aspect in, with every composer. So we were six composers and it was very nice to know each of them how they think and how they uh, react to the to this idea which is um, putting the classical music with eastern music it was a great experience and it's huge pleasure to participate in this workshop. Um, I've learned a lot. Um, playing my piece, it's very uh, important to me, and also listening to, to the other pieces and uh, talking and um, uh, having like um, uh, discussions with the other composers. Uh, it's very, very uh, uh, useful and uh, very, uh, it, it was a very rich time for me. Uh, during the, the, the last week. Really I've learned how to handle your time to compose what you must to do, not even what you need to do. Yani, uh, when I composed my piece, uh, this was very challenging to me to finish it in this uh, concise time, but yani, I think that yani, I've made it finally, yani, I hope so. التبادل الثقافي و... وان كل واحد يعرض العمل ويعمل بروفه والباقي حاضر فده كان فيه يعني استفاده اكتر حاجه بقى اتعلمتها حاجات كتير قوي بس اكتر حاجه بصراحه حصلت آه... آه... فكره الهارموني في المقامات آه... واستخدامه للمقامات واستخدامه للمقامات دي بشكل معاصر وبشكل كلاسيك فده كان عامل ميكس حلو وحاجات كتير بس دي اكتر حاجه We are sitting here backstage at the Arabic Music Institute. Our concert will start in less than an hour and we are very excited to hear the six brand new pieces yes. uh, composed for this workshop uh, to be performed tonight. Yes, I am. I can't believe it. Do you believe that time, time passes and uh, soon we will be faced by the music? I think it will be wonderful. Yes, concert. I, I am sure. It will. Um, a, a lot of uh, a lot of vivid compositions, a lot of sincerity, uh, good musicians, good atmosphere, history. Yes. So I think uh, I, I have a good feeling. Yes. مساء الخير عليكم جميعا سيداتي وسادتي أهلا بيكم معنا النهاردة في حفل عندي طموح كبير إن أنتم هتستمتعوا بيه نهل مطر من مصر جبل يعيش بعيدا شادي حنا من مصر تريو روسيلا عادل من مصر المتاهة كمال أحمد مصطفى من مصر رقصة في الدوامة 
يرى نمر رقص من الاردن رقص ذهب سونا كوليستر من الدنمارك الغريبه على العود مايكل اونسي على البيانو مريم المملوك ولميس شمس على البيولينا خالد صالح على تشيلو محمد عبد الفتاح سيبوا نفسكم عايزين تغمضوا عينيكم غمضوا عينيكم شكرا
مالك الموسيقي والملحن الدنماركي طبعا شادي حنا رزيلة عادل كمال احمد مصطفى يارا نفر